is this brand new Canyon concept bike, the craziest, wildest new bike you've ever seen. And will it ever make it into production? Or will it join a long list of concept bikes that never saw the light of day? Well, in this video, we'll find out. So let's dive in and take a closer look. Hello and welcome to Just Ride Bikes. I'm David and at the recent London Cycle Show, I saw loads of good bikes and you might see my roundup of hot new bikes, link down below in case you missed it. But the bike of the show by far was this brand new concept bike from Canyon. And it's a striking looking bike, the sort of which I've never seen before. And it's got a really fantastic environmental message behind it, behind the conception of this new bike. And I do love concept bikes like this, which throw the rule books out the window and really make us question and ponder what direction bikes should go in, in terms of you know, transport, utility, aerodynamics and other aspects of cycling that we all look for and really break down the barriers and try and project a vision into the future. And sometimes they're nothing more than a vanity project for the designers, but sometimes they actually ask really important questions that we all need to face. And this bike does ask a quite important question and whether it answers it or not, it's another matter, but you'll decide down below in the comment section for sure. So this new bike has a noble aim of being a truly sustainable mountain bike and they call it the Ride Green Bike. Now, ever since Trek shone a light on a carbon footprint of its own bike manufacturing a while ago, linked out down below, and with everything else going on in the world right now, I think there's a growing interest in trying to make the manufacturing of bicycles a bit less damaging to the planet. So the goal of this bike was to reduce the amount of raw material used to make it and use materials that can be recycled with a lower environmental aspect. All noble aims, I think you'll agree. So naturally, they use a 3D printing process. It was actually made by a German company called Materialize, use a selective laser melting method. So a laser moves over a basin of aluminum powder and welds the powder into metal. Apparently, the frame takes six hours to make and the frame and fork together weigh two kilograms. The frame was then built with components that were as recyclable as possible as showed in the German bike magazine's Ride Green story. And I do love the radical look of this bike. It's all futuristic with a skeleton appearance and that split down tube, which I haven't seen on a bike since a factor many, many years ago. And the added bonus of saving weight over more conventional manufacturing methods. 3D printing is often talked about as a future of the bicycle, but a few brands as big as Canyon have dabbled with it. And there aren't many bikes made entirely from a 3D printing process, but there are a few and here's an example. But the big question this bike raises, aside from that whole environmental impact, which is a really important question and debate I think we all need to have, is whether the bike will ever see the light of day or whether it's just another vanity project. And Canyon does have form in making some fantastic, real good talking point concept bikes, but which never see the light of day. And there have been a few big examples over the years, which I'll mention now. And the most interesting and exciting concept bike it produced, in my opinion, was back in 2015 at Eurobike with a full suspension road bike. It had front and rear suspension really neatly integrated into the fork and rear stays, and that could react to the road surface on its own with no input from the rider. It then had technology to enable it to be a smart bike with a SIM card and GPS, so your ride data could be uploaded to the cloud, giving you service interval data and an emergency call system. So a smart bike ahead of other smart bikes that we've talked about on their channel in the past. But sadly, it never saw the light of day and probably never will. And there's no sign of that technology, especially that suspension technology, finding its way into a road bike anytime soon. And the whole smart bike idea, as we talked about in a previous Tech Fails video, the link above in case you missed that, shows there probably isn't much future right now for any smart connected bike more kind of technology emphasis on computers and cameras and radar and that sort of stuff. And the most recent concept flop from Canyon was their idea for a car. Their idea of future mobility, of transport, of combining the convenience and the protection from the rain of a car, but with the technology of a bicycle and an e-bike. Sort of a Sinclair C5 with a roof brought up to date for the 21st century. So concept bikes, good or bad? Now, personally, I love seeing concept bikes because they can point to a future vision or just something crazy where they're throwing a rule book out. And there have been some fantastic concept bikes over the years 
Canyon have done some good wines. Candale, Specialized. And back in the day when I started out as a bike journal, we used to see quite a few almost every year at a bike show. But these days we don't see so many. It's all kind of calmed down a bit and there isn't that same excitement and buzz to really break the mold, break the barrier and look to what a bike from the future might look like. While bikes are generally better than they've ever been before, it's always exciting to see where designers are thinking 10, 20 years ahead of us right now. Give us something to get excited about and a glimpse of the future. But right now, there aren't many glimpses of the future, which is a shame. So I'm all for the concept bike. Hopefully you will see more over the next few years. But let me know what you think of this Canyon concept bike, whether you think it's a move in the right direction or whether you think they should stop wasting time on bikes like this and just concentrate on the bikes they're making now. Anyway, if you wanna see some of the best tech fails from the bike industry, check the video right here. Don't forget to subscribe by hitting this button right here. And I'll see you all again very soon. Thank you so much for watching.